more noise than that. Sacramento, again, I don't think you understand. This is episode 400 of Kill Tony. The great Brian Redband is here, everybody. Hey, guys. Redband is here. How do people get on this stage tonight? That way? This uh, there, there's a uh, right here. There's the some stairway stairs. right there. That's the only way to do it. Do not take the way that I took <laughs> at all. Don't do it. We have one too many chairs up here. Oh yeah. You know what? It's all good. I'm as cozy as can be. How about another hand for a Brian Redband? Hi. Everybody, we're here. We're alive. I'm Tony Hinchcliffe. This is Kill Tony. Episode. Believe it or not, four zero zero. We double checked. We have more podcast episodes than any other live podcast in the world. We d fucking double-checked it today since we were on a goddamn six-hour road trip. And you know what? We made a deal in honor of episode 400 being here in Sacramento. We're all smoking meth after the show together. <laughs> Let's fucking go, baby! Since we're in our home state of California, how about you make some noise for our usual house artist, the great Ryan J. Belt is here! We all packed into a fucking nice little van today. I'm excited to be here. How many of you were here last time we did a Kill Tony in Sacramento? I don't think we've ever done we a have, Kill Tony uh, in yeah, Sacramento. Yeah, it doesn't seem like we Somebody have. Somebody told me that we have. I don't remember it. Maybe did, it have we ever done one here before? This is the first one, episode yep. 400. Oh, we did? Yep. Okie dokie. Super memorable. Anyway, uh, <laughs> wow. It's good to be here. Good to be back. I'm excited. Uh, this is going to be a fucking lot of fun. So let's just jump right into it, shall we? No reason to wait. No reason to pity paddle around. As with all of our road episodes, we're going guestless tonight. Congratulations to you. You get the meat and potatoes of the goddamn show. No distractions. Nobody fucking, none of these old comics trying to fit in and fucking, come on, Tony, let me do the podcast. I have stuff to promote. I want to fucking bomb and say stuff that's unnecessary during the show to try to fit in with you guys. No, you're just getting the fucking thunder and lightning tonight. Is that okay with you guys? <laughs> So let's just jump right into it. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but there is a band on this show. Uh, every single episode, they commit to being different characters. We never know what they're going to be. Tonight, they were getting ready in the employee break room while we had the green room. And uh, so let's all find out what they are together. They're the funniest people I know. The people that I literally crack me up and push me to be even funnier than I already think I am. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the best damn band in the land. It's the Kill Tony Band. Jeremiah Watkins, Jolbert Joel Jimenez, and here in Sacramento, Chroma Chris. Wow. The entire band? That doesn't happen on the road. We don't take the entire band with us, but they're here tonight. Sacramento! Whoa! Look at this! Oh my god, is that a beer? Is that a beer bomb? Whoa! I think I know what they are! These are college frat boys for sure, everybody. How exciting is this? Come on, make some fucking noise, everyone. Oh, wow, all right. Good Lord. Good thing those two people didn't show up in that seat right there. Welcome to the show. You've been on the show before. Remind me of your name, band leader. What's up, Curtis, star quarterback. Curtis, star quarterback. You could have gone pro, but I got my girlfriend pregnant. You guys in uh, high school or college? Man, shut up. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. You've been on this show uh, a couple times before. Every time you're on, your hairline moves forward. I've never seen anything like it before. The fuck's up with that, Curtis? For hims.com, use promo hey, code Kill Tony. Hey, you're damn right, baby. Use that promo code Kill Tony every goddamn day. Speaking of uh, powerful hairlines, the great Chroma Chris is here, everybody. Chroma, what's your name uh, tonight? Name's Cody. I just bought that beer and I got science class in the morning. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> and then uh, clearly back here, we have uh, what appears to be the Mexican Munster. Uh, 
Perhaps a lesbian. Um, uh, For hers.com. Use promo <laughs> code Kill Tony. What the fuck? What's your name? My name's Brent. I'm the water boy, and I'll fuck your girlfriend, dude. Wow. <laughs> Mrs. Steel Yo Man or something like that. Uh, okay, Brett. We have Brett, Cody, Curtis. You guys in high school? What do you think, bitch? <laughs> I don't know. I don't have an answer. I can't remember. Our IDs say so. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. Uh, I'm glad you guys are here. Those are real Letterman jackets. You guys are going to be playing music and hanging out, meeting people with us throughout the night. And uh, since we're going guestless, I guess that just brings me to this bad motherfucker right here. This is the first time, uh, another fun fact, this show's filled with him. This is the first time the actual Bucket of Destiny from Los Angeles has made it uh, on the road ever. Yeah. We don't ever take it out of the main room of the comedy store. We've all been doing the punchline in Sacramento for, uh, for a very long time. It's been 12 years for me. You'd think I'd have one of the big headshots by now, but... Uh, Clearly, no. Lots of diversity here, obviously. Uh, Asians, blacks, Mexicans. Yeah, a lot of good stuff. Where's the white people? There's no white people anymore. We're the bad guys now. Brian, don't you know? Aw, man. Uh, So, um, yeah, you guys know how it works. A bunch of people signed up before the show. It's a pretty hearty bucket tonight. And uh, if I pull your name out of the bucket, that means you get 60 seconds uninterrupted to try to do stand-up comedy or something entertaining. You know your 60 seconds is up when you have the sound of a kitten. (coughs) Ah, fuck. That's the one thing I forgot to do. And then you wrap it up then or else you're going to bring out the angry... Faston's bear, everybody. I heard Faston's, even though that definitely isn't a word. What is it? Faston's? Faces, yes. That that fucking crazy Sacramento faces super gay bear is the point. Uh, so yeah. So let's just uh, jump right into it, right? So you guys ready to do this shit? We're live. Everything's happening. We're here. Sacramento. All right. Let's just get right into it then. I saw some uh, familiar faces out there in the audience. Fucking, I'm excited about this. You guys excited? (laughs) Feels good in here. They told us that, uh, I just found out tonight that this show, specifically this one, sold out in less than 24 hours. Really? I did not know that. Wow. So uh, thank you guys. I don't know if that's true. By the applause, it seems like you guys probably got it a couple days ago, but uh, (laughs) they must just tell people that that they don't get big headshots to to make them feel better about how at home they are in the club. Let's get the show started. Your first comedian getting an uninterrupted 60 seconds tonight. Probably the hardest spot of the show kicking it off like this. Put your hands together for Nick Estrada, ladies and gentlemen. And here we go. It has begun. Come on, one more time for Nick Estrada, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Hello, my name is Nick. Um, Walking in, uh, I've never heard more fucking mattress talk in my life until I was, like, just out of high school getting my first mattress. Everyone is, you know, apparently all up to date on the brands and sizes and shit. That was interesting. Um, Other than that, who else has brothers out here? Anyone? All right, well, then you guys must know about brother camaraderie because I had a lot of that when I was younger. Um, you know, we didn't like our parents at some times, as most people do. Yeah, I bet no one's ever uh, taken turns pissing into a squirt bottle to spray all over their mattress and pillows at night. Yeah, th- that's going to teach them next time they uh, go out to dinner and watch a movie without us. All right, uh, I'm out of time. <laughs> It. Yeah. yeah there you go. Nick Estrada, everybody. Didn't really think about a closing line there, huh? Didn't really think about an opening one either, did you, Nick? No, no, no. I like your style. Is this your first time doing stand up? First uh, time doing stand up, first comedy show, so. First wow. Time, yeah. Jesus, first everything for you. My God, and you're going to. I gonna... got picked first, like. Oh my God, everything's first. Yeah. You might fucking lose your virginity <laughs> tonight, too. You keep this shit up. 
I'm going to guess important. first generation in America also. <laughs> yeah. Can Can I, I, how old are you? I am uh, 26, believe it or not. 26. I believe that. Why wouldn't yeah. I believe that? Why did you well, say believe it or not there? I actually have to grow out the facial hair in order to not be 16 to 18 years old in most people's eyes. So. No. No, you don't see it? Yeah, no. I don't know. Maybe uh, it's life getting to me finally. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just, I just see, you know, with my, I have, a, I have a special eye for facial hair. That looks like a full Duck Dynasty beard to me. You know what I mean? I just think that any hair is a massive amount of hair, as you could tell by my facial hair. Uh, so, Nick, let's talk about it. What made you want to start this? First comedy show you've ever been to? Yeah, and I've just been, I started watching you guys, I want to say, about two years ago. Mm-hmm. And ever since then, I've just been watching it daily. Obviously not thinking of great jokes in those it's two It's crazy years, that but, uh, you watch it daily, because it only comes out once a week. Yeah, sorry, we, every Monday night. And, uh, you know, I try to get anyone I can into it, because I love you guys. <laughs> in the weirdest way possible. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, <laughs> what's your tattoo mean? You have a. It looks like you have a, a, yeah, a Down a syndrome monkey, monkey, on a monkey with a uh, mon- bird on it. Monkey on a branch with a bird. Yes. What yes, is yes. what does that symbolize it's to you? It's just uh, you know, white girls can call it your spirit animal, but uh, it's just something that I love. You know, I, I'm I'm big into apes, and you know how we evolved from apes and stuff like apes? that. Yeah. Apes, you're yeah. big <laughs> into apes. apes. Why only you, in Sacramento there would be people what, evolving. What do you mean you're apes? big into <laughs> apes? What does that mean exactly? I uh, don't fuck them. <laughs> nah. Uh, uh, <laughs> baking soda. Uh, I saw the look in your eyes. Uh, uh, bro, this guy definitely has sex with apes, man. Yeah, for sure. One in the ape, two in the gape. You know what I'm saying, Nick? Let's fucking go, buddy. One in the monkey, two in the chunky. Dude. <laughs> so, Nick, let's yeah. fucking let's talk about this. What have you been doing with your life this whole time? You're 26 years old. You fucking sort of giggle after everything you say. Yeah, I, I like funny shit. Um, I I was a chef for I was a chef for about uh, seven years, and I just recently started working for Amazon. You just started working for Amazon? Yeah, Amazon. Oh, wow. Your, de- your delivery sucked today. Uh, <laughs> my yes. goodness. Wow. What do you do for Amazon? I'm a delivery driver right now. Oh, you goddamn right you are. Here's your package. <laughs> wow. So, Nick, uh, what else do you do in your life? You live here in Sacramento? What part uh, of town? No, I just moved uh, over to Modesto area. Actually. Ooh, Modesto. Yeah. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> That's a fucking massive shithole. I know about Modesto. I had once do a gig in Modesto, one of my least favorite gigs ever. It was, uh, I was opening for Sam Tripoli, one of my first ever road gigs. I don't think I've ever told this story, but uh, I probably have. But anyway, um, I was opening for Sam Tripoli, and I was so nervous. I was so excited. It was such a big deal to me to get to open for Sam Tripoli. I knew that if this went well, I would get to open for Sam Tripoli again and get better and have more opportunities. So he's like, yo, dude, bro, we're going to Modesto, dude. Get ready. Tuesday, I'm going to pick you up. Whatever. So it's like a four or five hour drive to Modesto, and I'm nervous the entire time. And I don't want to be annoying. I'm always like, I'm much more quiet than you think I'd be on the road. So I'm just sort of quiet. I'm like, and at one point I try to think like, oh, this is a good time to make conversation. And I go, uh, so is this gig that we're going to in Modesto, is there anything special to it? And he goes, yeah, bro, it's a, it's a it's sure, it's a convention for uh, 7-Eleven owners from all around the world. And I'm like, ha ha, I got it. And I just laugh it off because I think he's kidding. <laughs> so the remaining three hours of this trip, I don't write anything about 7-Eleven owners. I don't think about it at all. Turns out it was truly 7-Eleven owners from around the uh, world. And I bombed harder than you can ever imagine. <laughs> There was, it was a five-minute long set. They said that I had to be clean, and during the entire five minutes, you could only hear one thing, and that was from the back of the room, and it w- sounded like, <laughs> <laughs> and it was Sam Tripoli recording me on a flip phone. <laughs> Do you remember? Do you remember your material, like what you did in those five minutes? I remember literally just dying. I mean, it was just horrible. I had no clean. Jo- I still don't have five minutes of clean material. It's ridiculous, but. Uh, but no, I just died. I did a couple uh, really bad jokes. Plus, it was round tables. I'll never forget. The microphone was connected to the podium. So you're just like, standing at a podium like it's a Comedy Central roast or something. And they were, there was a dance floor in between the stage and the entire venue. And then everybody behind that was at round tables, and they just served dinner. 
and nobody gave a fuck about comedy. Taquitos. And it's literally like... the worst gig you can like. If you made, if you created it in The Sims, like worst comedy gig ever. This is what it would be like: Seven Eleven owners, round tables, eighty feet away, just got served dinner. Seven Eleven owners. Okay, Nick ah! Estrada. That was my favorite vagina monologue I've ever heard. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Curtis. It always hurts every goddamn time. Uh, so, Nick, uh, enough about my worst time on stage. Let's get back to yours, all right? Um, so, tell us something more about you. What's interesting about you, dude? You're in Modesto working for Amazon, but what's the real What's the real you? You know what I'm talking about? You have any real fun me. hobbies or anything like that? Uh, or fucking, I mean, you have I'm a girlfriend? No, no. No. Mm-hmm. Why I, not, uh, dude? Yeah, Why you not? Know, you, you took her. You took her, bro. Yeah, I did. Remember? <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Fucking Rachel. So, what is uh, what is the reason uh, for that? Uh, What's your last relationship? Oh, it was a while ago. That's the girl that broke my heart, you know. Type yeah, of what, yeah. What the fuck's a while to you, Nick? Uh, uh, it's uh, three years now. Three years ago, she broke yeah. your heart. Yeah. How'd she do that? She cheated on you. No, she decided to move all the way to Wisconsin. So. Oh, why'd she move to Wisconsin? Because she didn't want to get a job to live with me and support herself, so... Now, you really showed her. Yes, yeah, You want to move to Wisconsin? Well, I'm going to move to Modesto. <laughs> See you on Facebook, bitch. <laughs> you think you can out-shitty move me? Hell yeah, there you go. Going to the middle of the barren fucking desert. <laughs> wow. So, she moved to Wisconsin. Yes. Yeah. But why Wisconsin? That's where her parents that's, live. Yeah, no, that's where they were moving, and she was like, "I'm going with them." That, wow. And is she your age? Uh, yeah, just just like a couple months younger. Well, let me yeah. promise you this: if she moved from California to Wisconsin, I guarantee you, she's fucking fat right now. All right, <laughs> she's covered yeah, in there's body. Lots of cheese curds, yeah. She's covered in just body acne. Right. This is what they eat. It's what they consume. It's soda. It's deep fried shit. It is. Yes. All right. So, maybe I'm wrong though. Have you have you kept no, tabs I, I on her? No, I used to live there, and that is what it is. Um, right. I lived there for two years, and I said, "No, hell no, I'm not moving over there with you." Because right. that was on the plate. You know, she's like, "Come with me," and I was like, <laughs> "That and everything Sorry. else." Yeah. <laughs> All right, plate. Nick. So there's nothing else interesting about you? Like any fun facts? Your parents have the record for uh, most miles swam to become a U.S. citizen or something like that? Or? No, 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 no. I actually have a white mom and a Hispanic father. So it's a typical uh, <laughs> mix up. <laughs> wow. Where'd they meet? Do you know? Uh, they actually met online years ago, like like before. It was like the eHarmony day, days where you had to log on online and Jesus. no apps or nothing like that. Yeah. Wow, they were on fucking AOL or something like that? <laughs> yeah, something You've like that. Yeah. Hell yeah. All right. Well, Nick, you're about as exciting as a goddamn uh, <laughs> yep. bottomless. Nervous, but, All right, you know, very good. Just yeah. talk over <laughs> jokes. Good stuff, Nick. You killed it up here tonight, and by killed it, I mean the energy in the room. Uh <laughs> But you know what? Like I said, it's not an easy spot. It's your first time, dude. It'll never get harder than this. All right. There All you right. go. Nick Estrada, everybody. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> All right. That's one way to get the party started. It's sometimes good to ease into the show. You know what I mean? It doesn't always have to be fucking fireworks <laughs> from the get. That's not how they do it on July 4th. <laughs> <laughs> One more time for Nick Estrada, everybody. Before he kills himself, or worse yet, moves to Wisconsin. Pull another name out of the bucket, put your hands together for Drew Absher. Drew Absher. Wow, I got some, it's got a big applause there. Here we go. School's out for summer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Schools out for here he is, everybody. Drew Absher. Uh, how's it going, Punchline? I uh, I don't like people my age. People my age change the definitions of words all the time. I don't know if you ever noticed that. Like we changed the definition of the word addiction. My friend said that he was trying to quit drinking coffee because he was addicted to it. And I was like, that's not a real addiction, man. Like nobody is stealing car stereos to buy green tea. You know what I mean? Like, it's not a real addiction if you're, in order to get your fix, the instructions are add hot water. You know what I mean? Like, my mom was a drug addict. I'm not saying that to get your guys' pity. 
I'm just saying that to like, my life would be a lot different if she just needed a caramel macchiato every morning. You know what I mean? I'd be in college, not doing stand-up comedy. Um, <laughs> that same friend, he, uh, he told me that he was addicted to video games. And I'm like, dude, do you realize how fucking disrespectful that is? Like, go to a 12-step meeting and tell them you're addicted to video games and just see the look on their face. Like, you haven't played enough Mario Kart yet to start believing in God again, you know? <laughs> Thanks, that's my time, yeah. Fuck yeah, Drew Absher knows exactly what a minute is. Booyah. So I noticed you came from the bar, deep back right corner. You're a comedian here I in am, town, yeah, right? Yeah, You're a I local am. comic? Yeah. How long have you been doing it for? Uh, f- oh, this month's four years. Four years. And you said people your age do this and that, but what is your age? 24. 24 yeah, years old. Yeah, there's more to that bit. But. You said your mom was a drug addict as well. She was. I, I'm probably going to go on a woman and say she still is. Um, yeah. Oh, so uh, she's pro. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> What uh, what kind of drugs are we talking about? We talking about that fucking Sacramento special? That oh, yeah. sweet, sweet breaking yeah. bad fucking... She, she knew where she was at. She was into the hard shit. Hell yeah. She was a spoon bender. Really? So oh, her- yeah. heroin? I don't... I, like, I was too young to, like, remember it, you know, but... Must um, not have meth been baby. that bad. Yeah, I think it was mostly meth. Meth, she yeah. Was a, she was a nice How lady. many times was she on Live PD? <laughs> not, I don't know. If she was on there, that's When's the last time you talked to her? Uh, geez. It'll be 13 years next year, yeah. Oh, my God. Wow. Yeah. 13 years uh, next year. So why didn't you just say 12? It's <laughs> a good question. Yeah, dude. Um, after 12, you're graduated, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's really interesting. Why has it been so long since you talked to her? You don't want to or she doesn't want to? or? Oh, uh, you know, she's, uh, she's doing her time. Oh, she's in jail? Yeah, yeah, the last time I had heard from her. She was a fucking... Like, she stole, like, $50,000 from a church in Colorado and shit. She's, oh, hell She's a cool yeah. criminal. You got yeah. real bastard blood running oh, through yeah, you, it, sir. It's white trash running through the veins. Hell yeah, definitely. What's the, what's the white trashiest thing you've ever done? Are you one of those kids like, oh, my mom was addicted to drugs. I have to go to church and live a perfect life. <laughs> no, no. Uh... The white trashiest thing. I mean, me and my friends used to like paintball people's houses in high school. That's yeah, pretty we've white all trash. done that. We're all yeah. that white trashy. Yeah. Come on, you could do better than that. Even me, dude. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Ex- except Joel and his buddies used to paintball the house and then finish rolling the yeah. paint on. <laughs> Clean the gutters out. <laughs> hey, Juan, grab the roller. <laughs> That might have been my favorite joke you've ever made. Wow, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Like I said, Because we did kidding. that. <laughs> you really did, wow. Yeah, yeah, I have a business now. <laughs> so, uh, any, any, any other white trashy fun facts about you, Drew? Come on, dig I mean, deep here. You know what the fuck I'm talking about. You yeah, know, there's I've, something out there. You I've know tried I mean? to avoid it. It, it yeah. just is like... Of course. Yeah, I, I, I mean, it. I went on like a first date to Hometown Buffet. That's there you go. Cool. Now wow. we're talking, baby. Oh. Hey, now. Uh, that's hot shit. Yeah. Were you, were you sad when the girl moved to Wisconsin after? <laughs> <laughs> Brian, Brian goes on dates one through 500 at Hometown Buffet. Yeah. <laughs> it's good stuff. That's, that's called the test, whether it's <laughs> yeah. true love or not, as if the girl just keeps going to Hometown Buffet. With anyway, you said you'd be in college if your mom wasn't. Uh, do you still think you'd be in college at 24? Uh, Is that true? I actually, I mean, the joke's a little bit outdated. I uh, just went back to college. This is like my first semester back. Oh, so. yeah? What are you studying? Uh, communication. Hi, oh, trying to get back with your mom, huh? Yep. <laughs> Dude, I'll That's give his th- mom a full ride, man. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Communications. Yeah. My goodness. So you're, uh, let me get this straight. Your mom is in prison? Yeah, as far as I mean, you know, no one really has contact with her anymore, but right. every once in a while someone will Google her and be like, oh. Right. Believe what she's you have doing, brothers right? and sisters? Yeah, I do. How many? Uh, I have one full... Si- I mean, we're white trash. I got one full sister and then two step-siblings. Si- Which one uh, has the tighter pussy? Wow. I mean, it works in Sacramento. We're still in Sacramento. It works. So, uh, which one does? Uh, my, my stepmom. Hey. Uh, she's my terrible. Yeah, baby. Is she here tonight? Where's stepmom at? Let's find this fucking... <laughs> Dude, I love stepmoms. So you're still close with your dad? Yeah, yeah. What does he do? He's a, uh, he works at a cable company. So oh, yeah. Dude, manager. how tight's your dad's pussy? <laughs> yeah, bro. I love it, man. 
And how about stepmom? What does she do? Uh, she, she works at an elementary school. Ooh wee! Come on, be honest with us here. How long have your dad and your stepmom been together? Um, about 10 years. All right, that's exactly what I was hoping for. <laughs> so be honest with me here. You were 14 when they met each other. She yeah. came in, she's like, Oh, hi, Drew. Yeah, I'm just <laughs> trying, you know what I mean? I'm an elementary school teacher, so uh, no big deal, uh, you know. And then, then what? You started fucking st- <laughs> stroking your meat right in front of her, right? You just spit on your hand and started jerking off, yeah. showed her who's boss like your mom did her first day of prison, you know what I mean? <laughs> Just went right up to the biggest lesbian <laughs> she could find and fucking tried to buy drugs from her. All right. All right. All right. So you ever jerk off to the thought of your stepmom? Honest question. I can be 100% honest with you and say, no, I've never done that. What? No. Yeah. Well, when I was 14, like, stepmom porn wasn't a thing yet. Like, if, if it was yes, like... Yes, it was, dude. It not did, you not on the front page. They just hadn't made it yet, dude. That was a 2015 revelation. Nah, dude. You when your stepmom has tits and she's not related, you will masturbate to her. That's just math. <laughs> and, t- and she'll do the same thing if her stepson has tits. Uh, <laughs> that's right. So, Drew, tell us something crazy about you. What, what hobbies do you have? Normally, people with uh, moms that have drug problems are, like, really good at something. They end up excelling at something because they're making up for the fact that uh, maybe they could get their mother's love back someday and, like, clean up their act. So is there anything, like, you're good at, like, counting cards or something like that? No, I wish. That would be beneficial. No, I just really uh, just uh, do stand-up. Like, that's kind of... Well, that's I quit, quit my day job to come do this, like, pursue it full-time and shit, so... It's when, not very interesting. I'm when sorry did you, to bring When did you quit down, your day job? Uh, in August. And what's that day job that you quit? Uh, I, was a, I was an account service representative at a printing and mailing facility. Oh, wow. Yeah, very exciting. That explains the haircut. Yeah. <laughs> Does it? No. <laughs> uh, so August, did you quit awkwardly or was it just a clean break, two-week notice? Or yeah, it was, a, it was a... I was like, like the day... That I put in my two weeks notice, they were like, yeah, we were going to probably fire you. And I was like, oh, perfect timing. What? I should have just waited around and got the severance package, but, you know. Yeah, well, mm-hmm. there you go. All right. What's your love life like? Oh, it's cool. It's, you know, nothing nothing to complain about. It's you know? cool. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, love's so. cool, man. <laughs> you have a girlfriend? No, no, nothing like that. Last Single. date you went on, what was that like? Uh, it, was, uh, it was cool. We went mini golfing. Mm-hmm. Uh, I upgraded from hometown face. I'd rather do that. It was way cheaper. But mm-hmm. um, yeah, went, went mini golfing and oh, uh, she's a little person. <laughs> Bo- mini golf. I get it. Mini. Oh shit. Maybe Can I got uh, some heroin fuck. back here. Please? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Joel. Um. All right. So you went mini golfing. Then what? You played a little fucking putt putt with her butt butt. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> then what happened? No, because nothing. Uh, nothing manifested. But, nothing. Uh, you didn't put your ball through a little, through a little windmill. <laughs> All right, that was so <laughs> stupid. You, you didn't give her your Tiger Wood. <laughs> yeah, did you show her your fucking sack necklace? <laughs> what are we talking about here? Did you show her your fucking. Uh, you give that baddie your caddy. <laughs> All right. Well, Drew. <laughs> um, did, did you get a hole in two? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, Drew, this was fun to meet you, dude. Uh, yeah, local comic. You've been doing it four years. Yeah. You know, you're fucking in it, man. I would just say you leave a lot of, uh, you just leave a lot of sort of open-ended things out there. I would just say sort of like give the whole truth. You know what I mean? I'd say I'm 24. People my age have changed, you know what I mean, addictions. Yeah. So saying people my age because we don't really know. You seem like you could be, you know, you have a, you have a little Benjamin Buttonsy shit going on. Do you know I know what fuck? I mean? Yeah, you could good. be like a, you could you're either 18 and just join the military or you're like 37 and have leukemia or something <laughs> like that. I'm not really sure. Let's check in with uh, Curtis. Can I give him some advice? Yeah. Dude, have sex with your stepmom. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah. She's That's right good. there. She's right. right there. I agree. I agree completely. One more time for Drew Absher, everybody. Thank you. Fuck yeah, Drew. Thank you. Yeah. Goes out for summer. How about a hand for the band? New songs every episode. They learn these things right before the show. It's incredible. Oh, wow. Whoa. What, what was He's that? Throwing skull into the audience. Was that? Was that? What was that? Just threw an imaginary football. 
That's wait, wait a second. Can you do that again? Because that was uh, perhaps one of the worst football forms I've ever seen. Is that how you actually? I've never seen uh, you throw a football before. Dude, come on. Yeah, do it again. Oh my God! Wait a second. All right. So uh, wait, uh, wait. So you're a quarterback, dude? I tore my rotator cuff. Oh, okay. okay. That makes sense. Now I get it. Okay. Could've gone pro, but I filled up my girlfriend with my C. Whoa. Shit. Pulled another name out of the bucket. You guys having fun out there? Okay. People want for your next comedian. He goes by the name of Matt Medina. Medina. Matt Medina. All right. Sacramento! All right. Weed smokers, where are you at? All right. I smoke weed for my anorexia. It's working very well. Uh, you know, weed smoking... You can't, I, I can't do it in cars anymore, man. I used to have this weird, like, uh, old cop car, you know? Like a 97 Grand Marquis. like, fucking sweet. <laughs> I was rolling down the street, right? And so I, <laughs> I, I like to get high and write jokes in my car, but I forget what I look like, and so people think that I'm following them. <laughs> like, I had a woman <laughs> walk up to me and goes, Hey, uh, I don't know what you're doing in my neighborhood, but can you please get out of it? <laughs> cool. That worked out great. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, man. I had a whole thing planned. I'm so happy to be here. I'm so nervous. I'm so happy to share this moment with you guys. I'm going to pander for a little bit longer. Things are going great. Oh, man. I really fucked this up, didn't I? I bought my tickets in May. I was so... On my birthday. Okay, cool. Yeah, there you go. All right. Matt Medina. Really killing it the last 20 seconds of his set by just talking through it. I like your style, man. Very good stuff. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Hell yeah, absolutely. I'm guessing that's not the first time you've waited around for pussy. No. No, absolutely right. Hell yeah. There you go. There it is again. (laughs) For some reason. Makes no sense, but there it is. Uh, So, welcome to the show, Matt. Mm -hmm. You're new at stand-up comedy? Uh, I've been doing it about a year and a half. About a year and a half. Yay. Soft it, it was just me and you that got excited about that, Matt. That's I'm going to be honest with you. I, that tends to happen. Why does that tend to happen? Uh, you know, people don't think I'm funny. Why? <laughs> uh, loud, aggressive. You, you know. are? Yeah. A lot of people are loud and aggressive and funny, though. Yeah, but no. <laughs> that's very true. Yeah, ever yeah. heard of Sam Kinison? <laughs> yeah. Oh, very good point. Hilarious. Yeah. I mean, we Fair could enough. go on and on. There's a lot of those. So what do you think it is? Do other comedians think you're funny? Uh, I mean, they tell me, but you know. Do they? Yeah. <laughs> do, they, they w- do they, after your set, go, good set? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So. All right. What made you want to start stand up comedy? Uh, I got a divorce. Whoa. Uh, yeah. Hey, now. Uh huh. How long ago was that? Uh, two years? A yeah. year? Two years? I don't what know. What happened? She moved to Wisconsin. Uh, no, she fucked a 40-year-old. She fucked a 40-year-old? Yeah, that, hell yeah. That's... Yeah, <laughs> while she was pregnant with my kid. It's great. Whoa. It's a good time. Whoa. And I hope she watches this. Oh, Dude. my God. That's how, what we call the 40-yard dash. <laughs> <laughs> how, how, how old are you, Matt Medina? Uh, I am also 24. 24 years yeah. old and she's 24 too yes and how long have you guys been to, how long were you guys together for we were together for four married for three oh together for four yeah. married for three wow. uh so wait you were Ooh, together yeah. for seven years or no, just no, 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 four yeah, okay four yeah, okay altogether. three years married yep. and this 40 year old probably a boss a co-worker a parts dealer at a local uh famous car dealership yeah uh, <laughs> Wow. <laughs> looks, looks like he gave her a part under her hood she really yeah. wanted, huh? Yeah. My goodness. You know, the worst... How, how pregnant was she when she did this? Oh, no. Pretty, pretty pregnant. Yeah, wow. Yeah, pretty, that's that, incredible. Very, actually. So the, so the worst part like is four, that, Like fourth wow, and goal, or what ahead. are we talking about? Curtis, uh, just go right ahead, goal. Curtis. Pay no attention to anything else, Curtis. I can't see you at all, so... You, you know, don't no. need to see me, Curtis. Just <laughs> use your ears, Curtis. It's a podcast, No, we, do a, lot of, we do, a lot do, of, do, do a lot of plays on the field. I need to see you. All right. Yeah. You don't need to see me at all. I Dude, promise you. I would just, love to make eye contact with you. Curtis, we've been doing this for years. You don't Dude, I want to look at you, okay? All right. Very good, Curtis. How bruised was your child's head? Okay. Yeah. There you yeah, go. I don't know. I don't know. Go there you go. 
thank you, thank you, thank you. This is the, now we're cooking into the part of the show that I was warning about earlier. So we're talking seven, eight, nine months pregnant? Yeah. Wow. And you know that he came inside of her, right? Huh? You, you well, don't, okay, so, you don't so, pull out with a pregnant chick. No, you know no, this. No, so you, his, you cum was within, his cum was within yes. m- millimeters yeah. of your baby's yeah. your baby tiny had skull. salty lips. Huh? Yeah, salty Unless lips. he put it in her butt. Wow. Which, which, Dude, which lucky him. Lucky him. That's, that's what got the Cholberg chant. Just a, bunch of, just a few guys that are fans of anal in the audience tonight. Not <laughs> really the funniest thing, but... but uh, when, when you come inside somebody else's uh, girlfriend that's pregnant, that's called a two-point conversion. That's actually yeah. true. So, okay, yeah, soak it in, Curtis. Really, really wild one tonight, Curtis. Man, really overcompensating for, for that torn rotator cuff you have. <laughs> Dude, my coach said I could have been... There you go. So, <laughs> Matt, how did you find out about this? Uh, we got done with couples counseling, and uh, we went to Black Bear Diner, where uh, I Bacon ordered. Soda. Why where did, I, what, oh, go ahead. Why does that get a groan? What's Black Bear Diner? We're not oh, uh, it's locals. A, uh, it's a, it, I guess it's not in LA, is it? Um, it's like a truck stop diner, right? Yeah, yeah. It's like a okay. It's so like you're a out of couples cancel, counseling. Yeah. You go to Black Bear Diner, and then what happens? Uh, and then she looked at me and she said, "I, I, I don't want to be with you anymore." And then I was like, well, then why did I order my food? <laughs> I shouldn't have. I wasted $15. That's what you were worried about? <laughs> yeah. Your yeah. pregnant wife yeah. says you don't want to be, and you're worried about the fucking yeah, the grizz, you know? sandwich? No, it was the Grizz. is the breakfast. Oh, okay. And then what happens? Uh, she and says then, she doesn't want to be with you. You're like, oh, yeah. I'm losing $15 on yeah. this. And then what? And then we drove home in silence, and then I cried for about three hours. Oh, my yeah. God. Wow. That's called a rain delay. Yeah. <laughs> Caused rain? <laughs> rain delay? Rain delay. Oh, yes. I got it. Yes. Matt. If you would just look at me, you'd hours. get it. All right. Very good. Yes. I got gotcha, you, Curtis. Thank you. Uh, so, you cried for three hours. Yes. Did she tell you that she fucked the parts Okay, guy? so this is where the timeline gets iffy, where I think my second kid is not mine. Whoa. Yeah, well, let the, hold on. Hold, Hell so. yeah. Did he come out holding a fucking wrench or something yeah, like yeah, that? Yeah, 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 yeah. It had a Mitsubishi symbol on it. Whoa, is that the de- we're getting closer to the dealership here. A yeah, famous yeah. local Mitsubishi yeah. dealership. Yeah. What do you guys uh, think it is? It's John L. Sullivan. I'll just Whoa! say it. Fuck him. Fuck him. Fuck him. Yeah. He steals people's money. I don't know. I'm just wow. Saying. From the Mitsubishi to the Shitsubishi. Yeah. This yeah. is incredible. <laughs> wow, Matt. <laughs> You're just throwing everybody under the bus yeah, tonight. I like it, man. So what, what makes you think the second kid might not be yours? Uh, the amount of time that they got together and we broke up. I'm in love with the cold cold. All right. That makes, again, it's just like, I guess we're in a race to all say stuff here tonight. Let's just all do everything we first think of. You go ahead, Matt. Uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, so when, when she kicked me out of my own apartment... Uh, I she ended up meeting this guy apparently, and uh, we went to meet at a Starbucks to talk about like custody stuff. Yeah. And uh, she was wearing a she was wearing a necklace, and I was like, I I don't I didn't buy you that fucking necklace, right? And I was like, Hey, who got you that necklace? Really nice. She goes, Oh, a friend. I was like, Cool. What's this friend's name? Yeah. And she's like, No, I'm not gonna tell you. I was like, Is it around my kid? Yeah. And she's like, Yeah. So then she got me the whole thing. His name's Jeff. Whoa, yeah. okay, okay, that's enough. <laughs> that's my pillow. Fuck you, Jeff! Yeah, enough. Jeff. Matt's about to say his social security number. Wow. So it's Jeff. He works yeah. at Mitsubishi yeah, right yeah. here. Oh my God. And he was fucking your wife. Yeah. It's currently. Currently, soda. currently fucking my uh, still legally married to wife. Right. Yeah. So when did the second kid happen? <laughs> so when, you're when, saying she's available? <laughs> yeah. 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 When did she get pregnant with the second kid? Uh, I mean, hopefully when I came inside her. Uh, that's... Yeah. Yeah, about a year and a half ago. Is there anything about the second kid that makes you think it's not yours? No, no. Uh, well, besides like the straightness of the hair, he's black. That's about it. Ah, the yeah, and it's, and it's black. Bacon yeah. soda. Yeah. I could. 
It came out with a fancy necklace on or yeah, something. Yeah, my like first that? one's got like curly jew locks, so you know. Right. Wow, Matt, you're yeah. fucking wow. You're so interesting. That's incredible uh, that uh, you really fucking literally spilled the beans here. Uh, what ethnicity are you? Huh? What ethnicity are you? Uh, half Mexican, half white. Yep, you wow. spilled the beans. That sounds like, right. like what, exactly what a half yeah. Mexican, half white person would do. Yeah. 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 Whoa! <laughs> Spill the beans. Interesting, Matt. Is that all the most interesting stuff about you? Uh, I used to pick up bodies for a mortuary. Wow. Yeah, that was pretty fun. Did you ever touch the titty once in a uh, while? Uh, had a couple glances, you know. Like yeah. Yeah. yeah, fuck yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I you know, it. one of those corpses you could uh, you could fuck it, and it's not gonna go fuck Jeff at yeah. uh, the Mitsubishi place. <laughs> Jeff, dead man. <laughs> <laughs> well, Matt, interesting as hell. You know, the minute uh, we got through it. You know what I mean? Yep. But the interview, fucking 10 star interview, dude. Yeah, fucking really it. interesting appreciate stuff. A lot so of much. vulnerable stuff. Thank you guys. That a lot of people would probably avoid talking about, but Matt, Medi- Matt Medina gave it to us. Thank you, Matt. Fuck yeah, you got it, pal. Pro wrestling fan, Matt Medina. Uh, fucking yeah. bitches, man. What? Bitches. Bitches? Yeah. Wow, look at you. My goodness, what are you so mad about? That poor guy. <laughs> what do you mean, poor guy? He's doing Who does fine. that when you have a baby in you? Come on. He's doing fucking f- trash. Come dude, on. if Jeff is out there, suck our dicks. Yeah. yeah dude. Fuck you, Jeff. Fuck, Fuck you, Jeff. Jeff. Fuck you, Jeff. Fuck you, Jeff. Yeah. Not, not my pillow. I don't uh, know why, but honestly, I'm sort of on Jeff's side on this one. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I just like... I mean, she's pregnant. Yeah. She's down to fuck. I mean, why not just Jeff fuck is cool. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff is cool. Jeff is cool. Jeff is cool. <laughs> Standing ovation from that guy. Oh, that's a waiter. Okay. <laughs> Pulled another name out of the bucket. Put your hands together for Zach S. Zach S. Here he is. Wow, right in the front. Very close. Hey. One more time for Zach S., everybody. All right, all right, thank you. That's me, Zach. Um, I just turned 31, um, and that makes me feel just a little bit old because now technically I'm on physically, I'm on the decline. Um, but the comforting thing to know is that you know what you lose physically, they say you gain in wisdom, right? Right, so <laughs> I'm like totally feeling the effects of that right now. I'm fucking smart, you guys. I know it, dude. I... I'm nobody's fool, first of all, and nothing gets by me anymore. Like, telling you guys, for example, I know for a fact right now that baby powder is just cremated baby that they put right back into a bottle for you. (laughs) Telling you guys, think about it. What better to apply to your baby's sensitive skin than more baby in the form of a powder? (laughs) Packaged neatly in a bottle for your convenience. You guys... Big brands like Johnson & Johnson. (coughs) Shit. They're legally obligated to tell you about this, though. That's why it's right there in the title. Baby powder. Like, it's hidden in plain sight. All right. Zach S., everybody. Zach S., welcome to the show. How are you feeling, man? Very nervous. (laughs) Why are you nervous? Second time doing stand-up comedy. Second time ever doing stand-up comedy, ladies and gentlemen. Second time ever and still somehow the second best set of the night tonight. Incredible. Uh, So, Zach S., congratulations and welcome. Second time ever. When was your first time? Two years ago. Two years ago. You're wearing two collared shirts right now. Now, this is something... I'll tell you why. This is something we almost never see in real life. No, no. This is very, very interesting. You're excited to tell us something about it. Curtis, you want to say something about this? Yeah, why does he look like the most handsome guy on the Big Bang Theory? (laughs) (laughs) So you got fucking two collars. Right, I didn't know what the temperature was going to be in here. Uh-huh. So I wore both of my favorite shirts. Uh, looks like the temperature is bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you ever thought about like a coat or like maybe a hoodie? Or? Yeah, you ever think about dressing like a human being? Yeah. <laughs> you know who else didn't know what the temperature would be like in here? Almost everybody else. Yeah. 
Is there a reason why you, you Dude, decided you, to commit to fucking forever you, autism? You look, yeah, you look like the autistic kid we always pick on, dude. Ah, Chroma Chris and I matching up on premises there. Look at that. That's big points, Chroma Chris. How about a hand for Chroma Chris? Silent but deadly. Not a comedian, but somehow always bats a thousand. Yeah, dude, the A on his letterman jacket stands for autism. <laughs> So, awesome. Zach, you said uh, some. I must have missed the beginning. We were talking about a technical thing for a second. You said sure. that you had some kind of uh, disability or something, and that you that or no? No, uh, I was just saying that, like, um, you know, in, in your twenties, you feel young and invincible, but after you turn thirty, basically, you feel your physical decline, but you also feel smarter at the same time. Yeah, I don't know. I think I think what I heard was right. I think you have a disability of some kind. I'm not a doctor, but I've been right about these things before. I have diagnosed people as autistic. They hit me up later. They're like, dude, I went to a doctor, and you're right, bro. <laughs> and uh, so I think I might be close to right about this. You ever have any head injuries as a kid? You play sports a lot? Um, I probably had a few concussions, but, I mean, it was probably <laughs> from snowboarding or... Yeah. or um, uh-huh. being what the fuck does the it face? matter I've, how I've you got them? You face. got them. Yeah. Once you get it, you got it. So... Interesting. What do you do for work, Zach? Um, I do furniture upholstery. I own my own upholstery business in Davis. Yeah. Wow. Awesome. Heck yeah. Look at that. What's Davis like? It's, uh, it's chill. It's got um, a lot of wealthy hippies. Oh, really? Do they wear two shirts with collars on them? Is that a thing there, maybe? Um, if they're above a five in douche factor, then I'm sure they do. Let me ask you this. Have you ever seen anyone else do that before? Yes, I have. <laughs> who, who is it? I went to UC Davis, and this shit happened plenty of times between the years of 2009 and 2011. You're autistic, dude. <laughs> yeah. Oops, I do remember I very did it again. I called you autistic because you knew the exact years. Hey! <laughs> Heck yeah. Old two callers Jenkins over here, Zach S. What's your uh, What's your childhood like? What are we talking about? What do we got going on there? Some fucking couple go kart accidents or something like that. You ever get ejected from a go kart in a massive pile up? Am I close to write about something? See, you're asking me how I got my brain damage. Uh, no, I'm just really talking about your childhood overall. Brothers, sisters, cool parents. Yeah, both my parents are pretty cool. My dad's a project manager for an engineering company. My mom's a veterinarian at UC Davis. She does brain surgery on dogs. My brother, yeah, she ow. should do brain surgery on you. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. She's probably used to, if she does brain surgery on dogs, then she's probably performed brain surgery on somebody with two collars before. Now that's the best joke you've ever heard me do on clip. No, I'm kidding. It's not it's smarter than it is funny, ladies and gentlemen. Smarter than it is funny, which brings me back to Zach S. Uh, yeah, is uh, is Zach short for Sacramento? <laughs> oh my god, Curtis! <laughs> oh my god, you are so deep in character. It's crazy. <laughs> Sacramento. Wow. Actually, dude. it is, dude. <laughs> if he said that, I'd throw myself through this window. No, don't. They don't know it's a window. It wouldn't be worth it. Oh, yeah, like, right. oh, there's a bunch of pads back there. He landed. Yeah. No, it's a two-story fall out of a window behind us. They, they warned said, us right don't. before the show. They're like, whatever you do, don't fall backwards. It's a two-story fall through glass. We're like, thank you. We're going to have fun tonight. <laughs> anyway, uh, so, Zach, what else is interesting about you? Any fun hobbies or anything like that? Do you ever go fucking, uh, oh, like, frisbee golfing with uh, coffee saucers or anything like that? I don't know. Coffee saucers. Frisb- so, being a business owner takes up a lot of my time, so I don't oh, have God. that many hobbies, but... Jesus, oh, my God. I'm this is like Shark to- Tank if the dude had the brains of an actual shark. <laughs> well, let me tell you, Tony, running my own business is a real conundrum. Whoa! Okay, running your business is what? Go ahead. I'm sorry I cut you off to say something funny. Go ahead. I'm sorry, Zach. I apologize from the bottom of my cold black heart. Tony, be careful. We're going to have a real joker situation here. Okay, go ahead, Zach. Okay, I just meant to say that, like, 
hobby wise I don't have that many but interesting things about me I was trying to get to when there's two uh-huh. that you might be able to work with one I've been arrested three times two I was circumcised late in life whoa I whoa. love this very good late circumcision are you sure this wasn't a lobotomy uh, maybe people... they did both at the same time I think yeah. they said like how late he, he just got his blood pressure taken it was like <laughs> he's like dude I got circumcised <laughs> This all happened after my mom tucked me into bed and started to so practice. So how, how old were you when you got the circumcision? Fourth grade. Oh, my wow. God. You yeah. dirty little boy. And Why? I had to uh, put a catheter in my dick hole mm-hmm. twice a day. Mm-hmm. Um, and Headshot. <laughs> Technically, yes. Um, there was a day we had to go to the corn maze for... Uh, for a Dude, field Red trip. Man's hilarious. <laughs> All right. Okay. Keep going, Zach S. There was a time we in fourth grade I had to go to the corn maze <clears throat> for a field trip. Uh-huh. And uh, it was time for me to stick my catheter in my dick halfway through our field trip, or else my dick hole was gonna close up. So I went into the um, porta potty. Oh my god! I took there's, out the catheter and I. There's no way all the details hole. in this story come back for any reason. Like, and then there's a kernel of corn, and I'm like, not with my stock, you didn't. Like what? I remember it because it was not fun, man. Right. So you went to the porta potty and you shoved a thing in your dick. Is that that it? I guess so. Let's yeah. talk about the three arrests. Uh, what are, what did you get arrested for? Being drunk all three times. One was a DUI. Wow. How recent was the most recent one? All between 2009 and 2011. Whoa. <laughs> what the fuck's was, up with that? What's up with 9 and 11? I was a junior and a senior in college, and I partied a lot. This is the worst fucking 9-11 thing I've ever heard in my life. You're 2009 to 2011. It's the worst thing I've ever heard associated with those numbers. The worst? That's when you were in college, 2009 to 2011? 2007 through 2011, 2007. but yeah. All right, that makes sense. Love life, Zach. It seems to be the question of the night. I'm single. Single? Yeah. Heck yeah. You ever? You a good listener? I'm a very good listener, I think. I'd like yeah. to think so. Long time listener, first time callers. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I, don't even, I can't even blame that on being in character. That's, uh, that's just my stupid brain. So... Uh, Fuck, 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 fuck. Shoot, ask me anything. Tony, it's always weird because I usually just see the back of their hands. He turned at me and I saw his face and now I know who I'm making fun of. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. Wow. All right, Zach. Well, you're an interesting guy, man. How far is Davis from here? 25-minute drive. 25-minute drive. Drive. All right. Well, how fast can you do a drunk? <laughs> That's a real question, dude. You live I, w- I wouldn't remember. Real question. You live by yourself? Yeah. Uh, actually, that's a lie. I live with my parents. Oh, well, you know, as a business owner, uh, I, uh, <laughs> son of a bitch. My God. You ever hear your mom and dad having sex? Or as he calls it, giving the dog brain surgery, you know what I mean? Now they're divorced, unfortunately. Oh, they're divorced. But they still live together? Nope. One lives in Winters, which is 50 miles away from here. One lives in Davis, which is 25. Wow. Who'd you choose? <laughs> yeah, which what one did you choose? choose? Yeah, which parent did you choose Who do you live with, with, man? Yeah. Which oh, team, dude? Got you. I live with my dad. I live with my dad because he lives closest to where I work. Closest to where you work. You do not sound like a business owner to me at all, Zach. I work approximately well, you four. You said you don't like people promoting things. What's the business that you own again? It's called Davis Upholstery, and it's just an upholstery business. How did you learn how yeah. to do that? I knew the former owner of the shop, and I asked him if I could practice on pieces of furniture until I was good enough that he could pay me for it. Wow! And then he started paying me for it, and then he sold me the shop. Now wow, we are. very That's good. That's incredible. Very it's cool. A, it's good to know you can do something with uh, the material that you can create. <laughs> it's a good outlet for you, I think. Thanks for coming on, Zach. It's Zach S, everybody. We got to follow up with him. I want to know if this guy's autistic. I think there's a good chance he is. 
I wish that you would step back from that hey, ledge. He, le- he left his uh, circumcised dick microphone. I mean, look at that. Oh, wow, look at that. Heck yeah. Uh, <laughs> look at that. Wow. Professional. Fuck yeah. Hey, little butt slap. Oh, I think he likes it. Wow. Oh my god. These dudes are about to fuck. Oh god. Whoa, he grabbed there. it. Get in there. Wow. Oh, there's not even a name on this. That's interesting. Uh, Just a blank piece of paper ended up in there. Is there an invisible person who signed up tonight? Okay, there's two of them. Yeah. All right. Guess we just guess we just cut up all the pieces of paper and threw them in there. Are there huh? are there invisible twins that signed up tonight? All right, I'm going to tell you right now. This is a fucking crazy name. I have a feeling something very interesting is about to go down here. Put your hands together for your next comedian. He's signed up as the real Spaceman Spiff, everybody. Here we go. Here he is, the real Spaceman Spiff. What's up, everybody? (laughs) All right. I'm the real Spaceman Spiff. Yeah, yeah, you're right. A.K.A. Kyle. I've often been considered by others to be a little psychotic. But if you overlook that, I'm pretty normal and relatable. One time, while I was on ecstasy, around 3 in the morning, I masturbated in the front lawn of a girl I had feelings for. Yep. Before you start judging me, I had a very good reason for doing that. Another time... I took an extended vacation to Sacramento's wonderful facility, R Triple C. For those of you who don't know, that's jail. While in jail, I earned the unofficial title of shit bandit. That's for real. I was never caught. I also had a really good reason for doing that. One night, I got so drunk, I argued with my girlfriend, and I. Damn it. And I passed out in a bush down the street, and I also called a buddy, ordered $100 worth of Coke, which I didn't have, and then I walked back to my car, shit myself, and drank gutter water. Wow, there you go. All right, Kyle. I like your style, Kyle. Uh, You signed up as the real spaceman Spiff. Now, why would you do that and just not go by Kyle? Because that's my tag for everything. Is what? Uh, Spaceman Spiff. It's uh, Calvin and Hobbes. That's my thing. Oh, that's oh, cool. it's your online thing. Yeah, yeah, oh, okay, yeah. cool. Well, welcome, welcome, Kyle. You took off sunglasses and a fisherman's hat, and you have your material written on a cool Dude, piece of art that you made. My mind would have went blank. I needed that. I like your style, man. That. You're you're honest with yourself. You seem like you've lived a full life. Uh, <laughs> welcome. How old are you? Thirty years old. 30 years old. Hell yeah. Talk right into the tip of that microphone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hell yeah. Uh, 30 years old. You said that uh, you said that you're pretty normal and relatable. No. God, no. 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 You you ever you ever been in the military or anything like that? I get that a lot, actually. Yeah. And no. No. I actually got denied from the Marines when I graduated high school. I had an incident in eighth grade. What was the incident? Assault with a deadly weapon. Wow. What was the deadly weapon? Oh, all right. A knife. Who'd you deadly assault? Uh, a fucking bully. Wow. It was just a bully? Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. I wouldn't clap that fast without hearing the yeah. whole story. <laughs> yeah, like, who's good. the bully it's now? Yeah, can, can I just a say... A fucking... Uh, uh, all right. I believe you. I believe you. I looked back. He had the crazy yeah. eyes on me. Uh, hello. I believe... I'm on your side in this, pal. Uh, I was going to say that uh, this guy looks like when he comes, uh, he yells, hoorah, but... <laughs> but uh, after hearing the bully thing, loved your set, bro. So did you stab him with the knife? No, no, I just threatened him. Um, put it to his neck. I told him I was going to fucking kill him. Who was this guy bullying? Uh, I'm not going to give his name, but it was a tall, aggressive... No, I'm not, I don't want his name. I'm saying, I'm saying who was he bullying? Damn. Oh, me. Me over a course of a couple months. A couple eighth, months. What was he grade. saying to you? What was he doing? This uh, was in eighth grade? Eighth yeah, grade. Eighth grade. And, yeah, wow. I mean, dude, I was just a shy guy, and motherfucker wanted to... Fuck with me. He hit me, calling me shit, and oh, he hit I, you? I stopped taking it. You ever see this guy anymore? Let me yeah. feel your muscles. Come here. No, dude. I'm weak. Flex. I'm weak. Do you Flex. Want, do I'm you... weak, but I'm, I'm crazy, hey, too. You're definitely can, crazy. Can, 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 uh, can we reenact? Uh, uh, oh, 
I mean, I don't think there's really much to reenact. All he did was threaten it, but Curtis, since since you're literally out of control tonight, sure, let's go that direction. No, it's easy. Very easy. Yes. Okay, go ahead. This is, boy, the anticipation in the room is killing everybody. Go right ahead with this This is how it happened. So, uh-huh. no, no, over there. Uh-huh. So, I'm coming out of English class. Uh-huh. Jeremiah's this fucking aggressive. Uh-huh. Right? Your name's Curtis. So, Curtis? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, my bad. Uh-huh. All right, all right. So, we bump into each other, and I'm like, and it was cheesy as fuck. I said, you watch it, dude. And he said, no, you watch it. Slap me in the back of the fucking head. I don't know if you know what a reenactment is. Uh... <laughs> I don't but s- the well, way you you're doing it right now, I don't even need to be here. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I grab him by the shirt. I put the knife to his neck. Okay, so, so yeah. But... <laughs> okay, oh. So now you have the knife I, and I, you put it up against my neck. This is, okay. I'm going to fucking kill you. There you go. There it was. The reenactment of the assault. That was I didn't like doing that. Mind-boggling. Uh, Dude, this guy is great at reenactments. Has, uh, has anyone ever told you when you wear the hats and the glasses you look like the saxophone player from the Muppets band? No. No. Hey, there you uh, go. I'm glad to be the first. Right on. That's what we thought was going on. Okay, so Kyle, tell us other crazy stuff about you. It seems like everything you say, you're like just accidentally give. I asked you about Marines. You're like, no, I couldn't because I almost stabbed somebody in the eighth grade. I'm like, what? No, they they denied me because of like psychiatric. Reasons. No, I understand. Right, right. Uh, uh, you so what, what, what's your life like now? How okay. old are you? How old are you again? I'm 30 years old. 30 I years get... old. And what do you? What, what's your story now? Go don't, ahead. Don't okay. tell. Don't uh, tell. I'm not going to give you my profession. That shit ain't worth it. But I'm what, married. What? I'm married. Uh, I got two kids. Oh, cool. Um, I'm super into psychedelics. I'll yeah. preach all day about psychs. Are you sure that's a good idea? How old are your kids? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Red Man. It's an incredible okay. idea for someone like me. How old are your kids? Um, eight and five. Eight and five. Yep. Absolutely. And I work very hard. I support them. So. Yeah. Anyways. But you don't want to tell us your profession for some reason? Well, it's just boring. I'm no, a go ahead. I'm a welder, all right? Aww, I work with metal. That. <laughs> Welders are cool. Hell yeah. You ever weld uh, a guy that wore uh, two shirts uh, together? Hey, that's a bad welding joke. Bad. Wow, yeah. <laughs> thank you. Uh, I mean, I agree with you. I didn't, I didn't get the wording out correctly. I absolutely I couldn't agree more with you, Kyle. <laughs> Uh, have you have you heard a good welding joke before? Oh fuck yeah! Okay, let's hear one. I can weld the ass crack. Oh fuck, the ass crack, the dawn, to something. Fucking dude, know. your delivery sucked on that. So <laughs> shitty. All right, well, Kyle, yeah, what yeah, else yeah. about you? How'd you find a woman that would marry you? Where'd you meet this girl at? Okay. Yeah, can you okay. reenact that for us real quick? Yeah. <laughs> Very good idea. Yeah, so I walk in, right? And then she's like, hey, what's up? And I'm like, hey, what, how are you? I don't wear shoes. He's <laughs> like, if you don't marry me, I'll cut your fucking throat. <laughs> I do, I do. Corvette we have two kids now. Stage. I Corvette. love you. All right. So where'd um, you meet this girl? I met her buying ecstasy from a drug dealer. and uh, You were skating. both buying ecstasy at the same she time? She was the friend of the drug dealer. And um, I bought ecstasy, and we just hit it off. Huh. I think the ecstasy did the heavy lifting there. <laughs> hey, 12 years later. Uh, wow, 12, 12 years, years aside, 12 years, yeah. That's great. Yeah. Jeez, that's fucking awesome, man. It's cool, man. Wow, that's crazy. So you met her when you were 18? Uh, yeah, yeah, I was turning 19. Yeah, close. Incredible stuff. What does she do? Ooh. Destiny Nothing. to the stage. Nothing. All right. She's going to watch this, and I'm going to get in trouble. Really? Why would you get in trouble? Because she does work hard to keep the house together. But, of course. Uh, there's more that could be done. Whoa. Oh. Sorry, babe. Sorry. Dude. <laughs> like what? I mean, we're getting it out there. Come on. Let it, let it out. Let it out. Dude, the let- knife's coming back out, babe. That's right. Okay. There we uh, go. go no, back no. to you, Kyle. It's actually it's pretty simple. So, <laughs> what can she do to make the fucking house better? This no, is what no, we all want to no, know. No, Tony, it's not about making the house oh, better. Okay. It's about like bedroom. No. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know, man. I don't know what I expect, but I, I just kind of wish that she'd be more involved in life. And the, the real sad thing, dude. The real sad, yes. The real sad an thing important, is that very she, compelling part of the show. Go ahead, Kyle. 
is that uh, she took drugs way younger than I did. She started in eighth grade, and it, it's affected her. And uh, I love her to death, but... Wait, you mean to tell me she's the crazy one? <laughs> no. No. No, what do you mean? What do you mean it's affected her? Um, like uh, processing, information, doing stuff. It, like it... Like, when you do drugs at a young age, it really does. It, it <laughs> this is the most Sacramento shit I could have hoped for tonight, by the way. <laughs> this is where you yeah. guys live. Yeah. Be careful. If you, if you do drugs at a young age, a you nice might guy. fall in love with a welder. <laughs> I'm in love with you got a very, welder. like, Tom Cruise fucking Oprah vibe about you, dude. It's fucking, it's yeah. terrifying. Dude, he's going to put a knife to your throat. You better... Good, dude. I, I'm not violent. I'm not violent. Can I just say, when he grabbed me during that reenactment, I shot a squirt of diarrhea right in my jeans. <laughs> All right, Kyle. I, I, well, got, I got one more thing, Tony. Oh, whatever you the fucking want to do, you get to do here. So you just go right ahead. The first thing, that, anything you want to say or do, if you want to mess with any of the levers or buttons over here, if you just want to pull Man. wires, you can literally do whatever you want. You're allowed. You're special. I came here to challenge the king for his throne. Wait a second, wait a second. Hold on a second, hold on a second. Hold on a second, are you telling me, wait, wait, Kyle, are you telling me that you know how to play drums? I used to be pretty good about 10 years ago. I haven't touched a drum set since then, but I still practice. You haven't touched a drum set in 10 years? No, you were good no, 10 no, no, years no, 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 ago? No, no, I'm not gonna be worse than others that you've had. I can be better. Are you than the sure other. you think you can really put a challenge up on this? I came to take the throne. Wow! Well, you know what? Whoa! What's he doing? What he's asking for something from the audience? Oh my God! He has unbuckled his belt. His friend just threw him something. What is happening? He has a strap on. This is. This is unbelievable. Dude, that's the smallest strap on I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> He's wearing it on his head. Oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, so before you play anything, Kyle, let me just remind everyone and let me just tell the listeners that uh, aren't watching this episode. He just took off his shirt, threw it out into the room, called for something from the audience, took off his pants, Caught a strap-on dildo, a very tiny white strap-on dildo. He put it on top of his head. Wow, He's wearing is... underwear, tight, colorful. Pikachu uh, Pokemon <laughs> underwear. Pika, Pika, Pika. I, I, I literally, I mean, it's just Pikachu colorful underwear. He has a dildo on his fucking head. Uh, he it appears to know what he's doing on the drums. Uh, and let me just remind everybody, you know, this is a, going to be a Mexican drum off. And with that comes the <laughs> ultimate opportunity. Uh, Joelberg is completely undefeated at all time in Mexican drum offs. However, this is just as serious as anyone we've ever had before. The real spaceman Spiff has an opportunity. Kyle has an opportunity to leave his wife, the eight-year-old, the five-year-old, and become the new drummer on Kill Tony. That means he'd be on the show tomorrow. He would be with us in San Fran for four... Wait, 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 wait. Kyle, Kyle, Kyle. Wait, wait, wait. He would be with us for four shows this weekend in San Francisco. He'd come back with us on Monday and be on the new episode Monday with Josh Wolf and a special guest. He has the opportunity to go to Australia with us in just a week and a half and be in Australia for the first time in his life. If he wins... He takes Joel's job, and Joel takes his. He just licked the weight, Kyle. He just licked the tip of the bottom of the uh, of the of the dildo. Hey, Nick. Hey, Nicholas. Can you make sure that camera's all squared up and that everything's uh, good there? Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you this is a, uh, this is a Mexican drum off, and now uh, going for the throne. It's Kyle, everybody. She's not Licking the end of the penis. That was it, Kyle? Yeah. 
All right, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Uh, about technique, like you said. That's true. I mean, as far as comedic performance, you you may have been one of the greatest contenders of all time. I don't even know where you find a, a dildo with a little ribbon around it like that. <laughs> but I got bad news for you, Kyle. Your opponent, undefeated all time. He's the undertaker of this shit. He's the one and only Joelberg Joel Jimenez. This is the Mexican drama. Why? Sacramento, episode 400. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's coming out with a bunch of. <laughs> he brought a first aid kit. He brought a gun and first aid kit. <laughs> Weirdest ass in the game. Giant purple dildo. Oh my god. And fucking a big cock and nice nuts too, you fucking pussy. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, all time undefeated. Maybe we'll. You might want to grab this for afterwards. First aid kit. Either way you slice it, we are about to either witness history or a slaughter. I present to you, defending his throne, undefeated all time, the one and only Joelberg Joel Jimenez. Salt lost his toupee. Oh, he's just warming up, it seems. Wow. Oh! He's got the dildo in his mouth for Christ's sake. Wow. Wow. Wow! There was a massacre here by a sleep mattress live in Sacramento. That was incredible. Mind-boggling. He put the dildo in his mouth both backwards and forwards at one uh. point. How many of you have Kyle winning this thing? How many of you have Joelberg Joel Jimenez retaining? Wow. There you go. There you go. One of the great uh, challenges up to the point of playing drums, though, Kyle. Uh, Tony, Tony, uh, yeah. my my actual dick hurts. I haven't fucked a guy that bad in a while. <laughs> well, uh, uh, Ky- mm. Kyle's wearing the underwear, but I think you got more down there to peek at you. Yeah. Wow. Guys, come on. You got to give it to him. Obviously, hey, come here real quick. Come here, come here. Take a bow. Oh, I mean, a real fan. The guy prepared. He gets it. He got it. Look. Everybody's a little crazy, but this fucking guy, he's a good father, he loves his wife, he works his ass off, and he came prepared and actually prepared, fucking gave a a good shot at the Mexican drama. It's never been used. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, there you go. This guy contributes. Wow. Look at that. What an episode. (laughs) Can I say how cool that guy is and how scary as hell that guy is? It is very rare where you see somebody that both seems completely unhinged and uh, yet at the same time cool as fuck at the same time. I mean, really impressive. One more time for the real Spaceman Spiff. (laughs) One more thing to explain to TSA. (laughs) Uh, what'd you say? I said uh, one more thing to explain to TSA. Yeah. I always put it in my backpack, and when it goes through the scanner, I watch their, their faces. <laughs> <laughs> it's always like a black dude. He's like, what the fuck's that, man? I love it, dude. Hey, man, this guy gay. <laughs> you, should just, you should just go through it with, uh, with uh, the white one on your forehead like you just had. wear it, yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Just fucking make them wonder whether they should give Austra- it a pat down or not. Australia, here we come. Hell yeah. I'm excited about that. <laughs> Look at you, Yeah. You dirty boy. 
Uh, wow. I mean, I don't really know how we could possibly top that, but I do have one idea. We have a regular on this show, ladies and gentlemen. Every single week, he writes and performs a brand new minute. Uh, I think we're all excited to see what he does here tonight. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for the one and only William motherfucking crazy. Montgomery. Here he I'm is. I'm crazy for wild. feeling so lonely. Where in the fuck is Patrick? He told me I could smoke out back. I fell through the roof. I lost one of my Crocs. He knows I have Lyme's disease. How many of y'all uh, hire a clown for your kid's birthday and when you find out it's a Jewish guy, you're a little... Do- Patrick! Why'd you tell me to say that? Patrick is Filipino. He... Not to be trusted. Uh, <laughs> hey, Sean, I get it. We're brothers, but this has to stop. That's an impression of me talking to my superior the other day at Foot Locker. <laughs> Patrick, why'd you tell me to fucking say that? Where is Patrick? Seriously, where is Patrick? Everyone's always older than me. Uh, that's... <laughs> That's what Dracula says a bunch. (laughs) William Montgomery, ladies and gentlemen. Another minute from William. This one, very Patrick, uh, Patrick Patrick-oriented set you have here, William. Is there even a guy that works here named Patrick? Patrick is actually from the Orient. Um, From the what? From the Orient. From the Orient? From the Orient. From Patrick? The- I'm kidding. That's a nice lady I met earlier. She gave me ecstasy. She gave me Zantac. Uh, <laughs> Why'd she give you Zantac? Why I don't know. I, do- I didn't trust it. It gives people cancer. I've literally been peeing blood recently. I wonder if it's some sort of cancer. I don't... William, is it true that you have been... Uh, is that true that you've been working at a Foot Locker? I have. I work with my cousin Taylor. He's a big Florida Gators fan. Uh huh. <laughs> William, what have you done since we got here in Sacramento today? I have literally been out on that roof listening to music. I've been smoking cigarettes. I've been drinking IPAs. I'm blacked out right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> Who the fuck said that? Oh, I think it's that guy. Right Don't there. throw me off! Who is that guy, William? Do you know him? Tony Chin. <laughs> oh, look at what that reference does to the room. That could be him. Oh, look, it's Strollberg Joel Jimenez, fresh off of uh, another victory of a Mexican drama. Did you you ever seen a Mexican drum off before, William? You ever watched the I show? I have not. When I was working at the La Quinta in Scottsdale, however, I saw a a Latin guitar off. It was very exciting. Uh, didn't know what to do with myself. At the time, I was selling Xanax bars out of room 217. Yeah. Let's give it up for my brother. That's your brother right there, Jeremiah? I'm kidding. Literally, in my state of mind right now, I see that my confidence is thrown off. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm a giant Mike Bibby fan. Let's give it up for Mike Bibby. Is that a Sacramento basketball player? It is. I did a bunch of research on AOL. Who the fuck said that? I've never, in, in, your, in your many performances on this show, I've never once seen you pander like you just did. <laughs> You're a huge Mike Bibby fan? That is bullshit. I'm calling. I never I do the this. Only but I'm other calling a lie right now. Greater than him is Chris Webber. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Hold on. There's one more. Let's <laughs> also give it up for uh, <laughs> Vladdy Dvek. Love him. Love it. Vladdy. Love you, man. 
<laughs> Bloody! <laughs> You're a goddamn genius, dude. You are so fucking funny. Wow, I did not see that coming at all. What a twist. In a world where, you know, I didn't believe anything you said. Patrick, Hey, Foot Tony, Locker. can, I, can yeah. I tell one of my classics for all, all my fans in here? How many of you want to hear William do a joke that you've heard him do before? But you get to see it live, and the listeners get to hear it again. I always like this. You're the only person so I, in this show's history I ever let repeat jokes. I like your one-liners so much. Go ahead, William. So I have a whistling album coming out in a couple weeks. Oh, this is not a one-liner. It's about okay. what it sounds like. Just my brother and me whistling songs like Jingle Bells the night before Christmas. Where'd the cookies go? Smells like dad's been down here. Who put so many logs on the fire? What the fuck, dude? Why does he have to drink so... Red Man, stop! No, you stop, man. Why does he have to drink so much? Get behind the sofa, he'll see you. Who's he yelling at? Oh my God, what has happened? Stop saying that and get behind the sofa. He's staring right at you. How doesn't he see you? Okay. With classics like Get Under the Porch, I hear his truck coming up the driveway. Please eat it. He'll just get more mad if you don't. And it's not a ghost in the closet. It's just dead. All right. William, is this your first time in Sacramento? Is this your first time up here? You been here before? William? It is. I've never been here before. There was a really nice man I was talking to earlier named Patrick. (laughs) I didn't understand what he was saying. It appeared he was Filipino. He looked Asian but had a Hispanic name. Ah. (laughs) Interesting. (laughs) That's probably my best joke. I opened up with, uh, with Cat Stevens with that one, the guitar player. Are you a big Kings fan? Is he a what? Is he a big uh, Kings fan? Sacramento Kings. Yeah. yeah you, he's, William, he's, what do you think about that Bogdan uh, 51 million contract extension? Can you talk a little slower, please? <laughs> you trying to say Bogdan? Yeah, Bogdan. Whatever. Yeah. We call him Bogdan. Bogdan? Yeah. All right. There you go. Very good sports band. Good stuff. It's a bog band. It's from whatever. Two, it's from two other podcasts uh, mashed together. William, uh, do you know about bog band? I do. There's a, a really nice man, Richard uh, bog- Richard Martinez, who oh. runs it. It's a hell of a website. Okay, that's not the question I asked you at all. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think about the Kings versus Melbourne? Okay, good stuff. Uh, so, William, is there anything else here in Sacramento you're excited to uh, to do? We only have. Uh, I am excited uh, to go to the public library tomorrow. Uh, yeah, what are you going to do? Hit me up on Instagram. I need a ride tomorrow. I need someone to call me at five thirty. I have to call my parents. Five thirty a.m. or p.m. I have to call my parents at five thirty a.m. tomorrow. Wow. Please, a good Samaritan, hit me up, call my phone, wake me up. Before you go, go. Who the fuck da, said da, that? Da, 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 da. All right. Um, William, you are a goddamn anomaly. William traveled all the way up here with us today, everybody. You guys are happy to see him? Let me, uh, let's, do a, let's do a little live poll here. I've never done this before. We're on the road. This is, a, uh, this is a, uh, a real fucking Kill Tony audience, right? So let, let's, do a, let's do a live poll that I've never done before because we see a lot of love and hatred on the internet. I, I want to see how honest you guys are going to be. How many of you in this room love William Montgomery? Make some noise. All right. Now I'm going to tell you this. All you YouTube commenters and people on Twitter Crack things your barrel, like that. Get, 55, get out of here. <laughs> My mom reads that. I'm in Sacramento. Hold on, William. Hold I on. walked here. Oh, no, it you... took me two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck said that? <sighs> so let me finish this poll because I want to see if I want to see if anybody does anything here. Uh, so I, I, let, let's let's finish the test here. Uh, Is there anybody in the house, a real human tonight, who dislikes William Montgomery? 
Listen Who the up, fuck listen said that? This guy right here, is that true, sir? What do you not like about William? <laughs> Free podcast listeners, you said, I think he's getting old. That's what that dude just said right now. This pizza is delicious. William, is, is there anything? I'm not going to perform here tomorrow now. No, no. Is there anything you want to say? You sa- screwed up my entire week. <laughs> you piece of shit. Oh, yeah, I brought it. To- what? The guy said you brought it tonight, yeah. but, he, but he's still also, even after that, rooted for disliking you, William. Is there anything you want to really say? You're really going to do that to me? What would make it up? What could he do to make it up to you, William? Is there Blow any- me a kiss. Whoa! Oh, ah! did it! Look at that! William smiling. He blew one back. Thank How- you so much. I'd like to give it up for my cousin, Taylor Forstick. He's a big Florida Gator fan. How loud... Can- Guys, we all love him. You love him. Make some noise for William Montgomery. So much fun. He's going to be with us all weekend. We got a lot of shows ahead of us. This is the first time we've ever done a uh, run like this, I do believe. A lot of shows coming up. A little fun fact, if any of you are bored on uh, Friday or Saturday, I think there is a couple tickets left to the actual Kill Tony Mania where uh, there's going to be uh, even more special guests and special treats joining us, joining panel. It's a special show that we only do in San Francisco, and there's just a few tickets left, I do believe. Um, so just a heads up on that. Speaking of special treats and special things, would you guys like another special treat? Yeah! I don't know. It doesn't seem like you guys really like special treats. All right. Well, in that case, I should tell you that we have another regular on this show. He is a brand new regular. He's only done one spot other than uh, being pulled out of the bucket and being given uh, random spots the last few weeks from me. This is his second ever spot as a regular, and it is here on episode 400, live from Sacramento. I present to you the one and only David Lucas. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. Hey. A real gangster ass nigga hey. plays his cards right. A real Guys, you better make ass some nigga fucking noise for David Lucas. Hell yeah. Come on, one more time, good and loud yeah. for David, everybody. Small ass stage. Yeah. Uh, a lot of white kids go missing. Through kidnapping and their parents killing them and shit. <laughs> and I think I realize why a lot of black kids don't go missing. Because them motherfuckers are too valuable come taxis and return time. <laughs> like, for real, you think daddy about to miss out on 2500 you know? That's new rims for the Cadillac, yeah. Like, a black kid might go missing in November or December, but best believe January 1st, they ass gonna be found. <laughs> like, bitch, if you don't get the fuck out of them woods. My uncle filed a tax return on his son that was missing. He was like, that nigga ain't dead. He just ain't found. <laughs> I need that 2500 you know? Boom. <laughs> Boom. Another new minute from David Lucas. How fucking so fresh. exciting yeah. is that? So fresh yeah. and so clean. So Hi. fresh. Outcast, can I step back? How you doing, David? I'm chilling, man. Shit. David Lucas came up here with us tonight, everybody, to be here with you. And you and you and you and you and you. Yeah, I was the only black person on the Sprinter van. <laughs> and by the way, <laughs> fun, another fun fact. We all ate at Wendy's today. He ran across the highway to eat Popeyes. That's true. <laughs> I did That's not true. eat Popeyes. Yes, you did. I ate at some fucking buffet. But that, you went to Popeye's first. They just they didn't, didn't have sell, what you yeah, wanted. Yeah, they didn't sell fish. <laughs> you don't try to make it look like he's being <laughs> racist. Yes. Like, <laughs> I did not eat at Popeye's. Four, four lanes of They traffic. didn't have what I wanted. It was uh, like five lanes. Five lanes, yeah. I know. Oh my goodness. And then a motherfucker offered to sell me coke in the parking lot. I'm like, uh, bitch, I'm too big to do coke. Yeah, yeah absolutely. You ain't got no weed brownies? You know what I'm saying? No, I like your style. Another hilarious minute. Welcome, yeah, thanks, welcome, bro. David yeah. Lucas. Yeah. So funny. I'm Thank so you, glad you're part of the show. Joining yeah. 
the wild and crazy William Montgomery. I think you two contrast each other very oh, yeah, well, yeah. and I'm That's not just boy. talking about the fucking, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Old yeah, Testament yeah. and New Testament or something. Something like that. Yeah, whatever. Uh, so welcome, welcome. Uh, you talked about uh, great stuff right down the barrel, a minute of absolutely hilarious material. Yeah. So what did you end up eating today? What did you, what'd you end up uh, getting? Fish, nigga. That's right, because you're a pescatarian. We just had this. Yeah, it's a pes- <laughs> That's right. And clearly, as you could tell by his shape, it's uh, Swedish fish that he eats. Uh, <laughs> he did have Swedish fish. <laughs> Tony ate an acai bowl <laughs> with a piece of fried chicken. He fucking <laughs> Tony's a gentrified black person. Get the fuck out of here. He's in white face right now. A fun fact Maybe. is that I actually did have an acai bowl and chicken the other day for, uh, for food, but not today. And you were probably listening to DMX. You're actually right about that. I've been on a, a 90s rap tear. You had lately. to bite your lip when the N-word came on? Yeah, well. Like, no. I mean, <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you, David. Uh <laughs> I don't. Uh, I say the N word, and when I'm at my house uh, listening I to DMX by myself, yeah. I mean, I say it hard. Why you? I mean, I can see you saying the N word in the shower naked. Like. <laughs> Where my niggas at? <laughs> 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 Drop. Sorry. All right. No, that's good. Uh, Fuck yeah. No, I love it, man. You got me spot on. You're absolutely right. I can tell. But you know what's funny about me and you is let me tell you something that that? that I think is true. I think I'm blacker than people think I am. But I think that you're whiter than people think. Hell yeah, bro. I listen to Matchbox 20. (laughs) (laughs) Said I don't know if I've ever been good enough. I'm a little bit rusty. I want to push you around. Yeah, I will. Well, I will. And I'll push you around. Yeah, I will. And I will. I want to take you for granted. Yeah, I will. I will. (laughs) Wow, dude. I feel like you could sell out arenas just covering Matchbox 20. I mean, I listen to black shit like Biggie Smalls. You know what I'm saying? Right. I can do Biggie Smalls. You can? What does that sound like? You can do Biggie Smalls? Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis. <laughs> when I was there, broke, yeah, you couldn't picture this. 50 inch screen, money green, love the sofa. Got two rocks, the limousine with the show fuck. Hey. And if you don't know. <laughs> now you know. I want to push you around. Well, I will. Well, I will. Wow. What's the other one he got? And she said, baby. It's 3 a.m. I must be lonely. (laughs) You singing white people songs is my favorite thing of all time. Of all time. You heard it here. What's that song I wake up to every morning? Wake me up from here. (laughs) Wake me up inside. (laughs) You like Evanescence? Yeah. (laughs) Wow, you listen to the whitest music. This is incredible. Wow. Hey, three doors down. Crip tonight? How you gonna do that to me, Heck man? Yeah. He puts the crip in crip tonight. <laughs> wow, Chroma Chris knows this one. Heck I don't yeah. know the words. This is the last yeah, guy you want. Pull the words up, I'll do it. This is the yeah, last guy you want living three doors down from you. <laughs> Tony, I wouldn't want you living above or below me, motherfucker. <laughs> Well, I mean, it might smell like zoo up in that room. <laughs> Wait, why would it smell like zoo? Because, you, you know, you got them wood chips for your bedding. <laughs> what? <laughs> what makes you Tony think? sleep on cedar chips. That, <laughs> that motherfucker is an angry beaver in disguise as a white person. <laughs> oh, my God. You're actually right. I sleep Tony, on wood chips. Tony uh, build a... Tony built a dam in his pool. That's true. <laughs> That's true. I sleep on I sleep on wood chips and David sleeps on potato, potato chips. chips. Yeah. Together oh, yeah. <laughs> harmony. All right. 
David, I fucking love you, man. You are yeah. a stone cold assassin. We have so much fun every time we're, we're yeah. around each other. By the way, a fun fact. I ain't bringing no merch, but y'all motherfuckers can give me twenty dollars anyway. Hey, look at that. I like that. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> And, nah, uh, like you know, David and I have a very fun chemistry. Yeah, it, yeah. When we first saw each other at, uh, what the fuck was it, like 9.15 this morning, we started guns a-blazing with jokes on yes. one another, cracking so each other up. We got so. a black Sprinter van. He was like, yeah, I got a vehicle that looks like you. <laughs> yeah, it's, like this. it's a 22-foot-long, 20, <laughs> six-foot-high black box. <laughs> you, you, you guys I was are like, like, bro, it's too early to crack jokes, man. Fuck, Tony. You guys are like oil and vinegar. <laughs> Hey, you can't say that shit. Say that shit with an A-H. Yeah, it's that he vinegar. No, no. Yeah, David. David. I said we... That deserves a real Joelberg chair right He's there, so, I'm yeah. telling you. You got to you, you, you hey. gotta say vinegar, not That's vinegar. What I <laughs> Motherfucker, you Hispanic, but you can still get pimp slapped. I welcome it. David, yeah. have you been up to Sacramento before? Hell no. Nah. <laughs> Guys, how about how about you show him how much you love him and his first appearance in Sacramento yeah, yeah, yeah. here tonight. David Lucas, everybody. Yeah. Love you, man. David <laughs> If I go Lucas. crazy, then will you still call me Superman? If I'm alive, then where will you be there? Holding my hand, I'll take you by my side with my superhuman, my kryptonite. Yeah! You guys having fun out there? Should we go back to this bucket one more time? Oh. What a great audience. Yeah, you're damn motherfucking right. Goddamn Sacramento. We drove six hours for this shit. Better be a fucking good audience. Put your hands together for your next comedian, Eric Newell, everyone. Eric Newell. Let's see what happens here. Eric and everybody, everybody's hands go up. Hey! Step back from, step back from, step back from that ledge, that ledge, that ledge. Step back from that. Oh, How put do your you hands together for Eric Newell, everybody. So <laughs> How do you follow that shit up? Well, give it up for Kill Tony's 400th episode. My dad, big anniversary. My dad also just had a big anniversary. One year anniversary of robbing a bank. Dude, it's real talk. <laughs> when I tell people that, it's like, oh, your dad robbed a bank? That's fucking awesome. Like, no. He walked in. He passed a note. He got the money. He passed it right back. He sat in the fucking lobby. Cops got there. They arrested him. <laughs> it's like, man, that didn't even make the news. Didn't make the paper. The only thing it did was disgrace the family name. It's like, man. <laughs> What am I supposed to do to, like, get the family name back? Rob the bank like Rambo? It's like, no. <laughs> Only reason I wouldn't do that is trying to find that girl, trying to spy, <laughs> trying to find that special girl. But I like the nerdy girls. You can't find them here. You can't find them at the bar. <laughs> Woo! You got to find them at the... <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead, finish Same. it. Got to find him. Got to find the nerdy girls. Find him at, at the that. comic shop, and the only way to get him is with a booster pack of 20-sided dice, but it ends right there, sir. Okay. Uh, Eric Newell, everybody. Let's talk about it. Let's get into this. Step back from that motherfucking I like ledge. I feel... Uh, and I, just stay there. Chroma Chris. Oh, I just feel like you disgrace the family name more than your dad. <laughs> Dude, you're starting on Saturday. You're starting. <laughs> wow. So that's true. Your dad robbed a bank a year ago? Yes, sir. Okay. And uh, he got in trouble for it? Yeah, they put him in jail, but it's like they should have just let him go. Cause... How long did he have the money for it? Like, was it a couple of days or did they immediately catch <laughs> and him? And how much money did he get? Zero. <laughs> Zero bucks, got in trouble immediately. So what ended up happening? He handed them a note or something? or He passed the note. What did the note say? Do you know exactly what it said? Give me all your money. He hasn't talked to me since. Yeah. Well, mm. there you go. Right. Yeah. Beats you. Jesus Christ. Is that your friend over there? Do you know that guy no, at all? I think my dad hates that guy because you could have said something better, motherfucker. Oh. Whoa. 
Oh, uh, damn. I like a guy that'll bomb for 60 seconds but won't take shit from a heckler. I like this. Dude, if your name is Jeff, suck my dick. Yeah. Ah, Jeff. What's my pillow doing here? Yeah. Heckler, what? Heckler, what's going on over there? Do you know this guy or something? Not at all. I figured his dad made zero dollars from the robbery, though. But then you said that nobody loves him. What's your problem with this guy? You said something. There was something else. I can't remember the exact verb. It's you said no one loves him or something like that. His dad doesn't love him. Are you just? Are you? Is it just you? A little bit drunk or something? Or what's going on over there? My dad got more reaction from Abner Bank than your fucking bitch ass comment did. So. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Suck our dick, Jeff. Yeah, Suck our bitch. dick. Wow, little little assist from Curtis there. Fuck yeah! Oh, look at that. Oh, he wants some more. Curtis, why don't you shove something in his butthole for Christ's sakes? Wow, my God, is that that same guy? Is that guy still yelling over there? Did you sign up, sir? I did. You signed up, and you're and you're now the anger is getting at you because you're realizing that you're not getting up tonight because we said one more time. Wow, dude, you can uh you. You should Dude. just. You should be. Able, you should just. Are, are you coming back tomorrow? Yes. Well, there you go. I guess. I guess. I guess you're not then. <laughs> Dude, that dude could suck Moby's dick. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Moby. Don't let anybody do that to you. These people should praise you. They should praise you like they should. Uh, so uh, let's talk about it, Eric Newell. Uh, you really like nerdy girls, is that true? I do. Heck yeah. Could you get any girl that wasn't nerdy? Probably not. <laughs> hey, how, what's your success rate with nerdy girls? You don't want to know that? <laughs> Why is that? That's, it's been good, but the love life has struggled lately. Why is the love life struggling? Keep the mic up to your mouth. Stop yes, dropping sir. it down to your cock like that. It's <laughs> getting very weird. Just keep it up there. Why, what do you mean your love life struggling? Well, it's recently uh. went back to the apps about three months ago, but I had had the girl in my hands. I thought I thought she was the one, but out of nowhere, Jesus, this sounds like a rape. <laughs> I had her in my hands. Yeah, she, she was dead, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tony, it's. I feel like I need to ask her out on one more date, but I'm scared. <laughs> what do you mean? What are you scared of? You have absolutely nothing to lose. You have her number? Yes, sir. You want to call her right now? Let's do it. Seems like you have nothing to lose at all. I mean, just call her and ask her if she wants to go on another date. All right. You, can, you guys got to be super quiet, though. Yeah, everyone has to be really quiet, and it, and, if, and if it goes to voicemail, uh, just remove the phone immediately. And as soon as you hit send, uh, hit speaker and put the bottom end to the tip of the microphone. But if it goes to voicemail, remove it right away. And uh, you guys all shut up, especially you, you, and you. Seriously. It'd be weird if we kicked you out before the end of the show, right? So shut the fuck up. All right. This is exciting. And you could you could say you're on the show. You don't have to say it. No pressure. Put that. Oh, sorry, That's wrong an number. Incorrect seven. number. That's she got her phone disconnected. <laughs> yeah. Dude, he just dialed the number thing. five three six <laughs> five wow. five five one two three five. Dude, this chick's number is nine one one, bro. <laughs> All right, here we go. Hey, Jen. Hello. It's me, Eric. I'm on Kill Tony. <laughs> yeah, that, nice. Yeah, that's a response I figured you would give me. Um, so, it's a question I have for you. Would you like to go on one okay. more date? Because I'm kind of maybe... We should go on one more date because we have unfinished business. Are you ready for this? <laughs> Stop laughing. Okay, okay. Are you ready? So, did you hear that shit or not? <laughs> so, will you go on another date I with Eric? Fuck. 
Yes, yes. Wow. That's incredible. Hey, what's up? This is Curtis here. How you doing? <laughs> hey. I can't really hear you guys at all. Hey, I said this is Curtis. What's up, girl? So, uh, I was wondering, um, I know we've never met before, but uh, are you into anal? <laughs> <laughs> What'd she say? I've seen this show. I'm not going to answer that. Oh! All I'm saying is that's not a no. Hell yeah, that's right. One in the Curtis, two in the Hurtis. You know what I'm saying? How about a big hand for uh, How about a big hand for Eric, everybody? He's gonna get that second date. Normally, that'd be the end of the episode. We'd be out of here and happy at an hour and 47. Uh, that would be considered a long episode, even for the road. But, you know, we only have one show tonight. I don't know. We, if you guys are down for it. Let's get a female. But I mean, but I mean, but I mean you guys do understand that normally that, that would be a momentum-filled ending. And the fact that we're going later is just for you, right? You do get that. You understand that it doesn't make sense for us to go longer. We don't need to go longer. All right. We haven't had a female on female. stage all night tonight. I'm going to pick from the bucket until we get a lady. Does that sound good to you guys? All right. Let's fucking do this shit. All right. Let it begin. I apologize to Dustin. I Come apologize to Ellis. Come on, Asian. Blank. Come Al Shaman is not a girl. Matt Kinney, Bruce Lerner. Here we go. We're going to get there, people. I promise. Not a lot of ladies signed up tonight. Parker Newman is a guy, correct? Robert is certainly a guy. That is uh, Hunter McGregor, I apologize. Ashton Tate, Jake Risley. Uh, Brandon. Thought that said Brandy for a second. Reed Bendix. Is that a girl or a boy? R E I D. That's a guy. That's, that's, that's a, a guy, guy for sure. That's a that's a methy fucking guy first name. <laughs> Let let's name him Reed. <laughs> fucking Sacramento. Is there a female that signed up? No, we're gonna get it. Yes, there's always right. a female that signed up. We're gonna go through this the fucking fair old fashioned way. Ooh. Oh, I think that's fine. I'll tell you this: I've never seen a Danny spell his name with an I before. Or the handwriting. How about Danny D? Is she here, everyone? Danny D D A N N I D. Is Danny D out there? Let's give a uh, let's give a little lobby check real quick. I'm gonna keep searching in the holster. There's a uh, Danny. There's Deputies. always comedians, and I guess I'll say this. Uh, I guess I'll say this now because we don't talk about it a lot, and a lot of people ask uh, if there's ever a local comedian that's done comedy uh, multiple times, and the club knows them. They don't have to buy tickets to the show. They can always just sign up and wait in the lobby or the hallway or outside. That's Danny D right there. No. But, Nope, that's not what I asked for. We are going through the... Like I said, we, go, we have a fair way of doing this, and it's letting the bucket of destiny choose. And I guarantee you this person's here. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Bridget Bennett, everybody. Bridget Bennett. Let's see what happens here. Here she comes. I see it. <clears throat> She's coming out of the audience. This very easily could be her first time. Probably a new comedian. You guys gonna help her out? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for Bridget Bennett. I bet you can tell by looking at me that I get laid a lot. <laughs> <laughs> What's white and 12 inches long? Absolutely nothing. I saw this commercial on TV, and it said, come on down, we'll treat you like family. And I thought, what if your family treats you like shit? <laughs> I have a roadworking father, and he was stealing from the job, and all the signs were there. <laughs> the 
The other day I traded signs for a ch- child, and it was the best damn trade I've ever made. All right, that's all I got. Fuck yeah. Wow. Unbelievable. My mind is completely blown. My mind is completely blown. What a great little fucking uh, clip that is. Me talking about how the bucket of destiny will decide when someone was trying to... Somebody here was obviously doing a favor for somebody that's fucking... Hey, what about Wendy? Whoa! <laughs> And I'm like, no, the bucket of destiny will decide, and you are just fucking, you are comedy in a fucking nutshell. Look Thank at you. Thank you very much. I mean, wow. One of the best si- sets of the night, right? Blatantly the best set of the night. Came out with a guns a fucking opener, making fun of you, making fun of yourself, owning it. That's exactly what this shit is all about. You're unbelievable. What the fuck are you? <laughs> Thank you. How long have you been doing stand-up? I've been doing stand-up for 10 years. Unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. I absolutely love it. My God. I, I can't believe that uh, we're going to have an even better ending than uh, we would have had it. We gotten off on the last comedian. Uh, so yeah, that guy wasn't very good. That's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> You're pregnant. No, I'm just fat. Is that true? Get the yeah. fuck out of here. Are you fucking with me? Why would you do that? Are you, there's no way that's possible. It's okay. Everybody says that. Is that true? No, I'm just really fat. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> it's okay. I got no, it. I'm used to it. I'm really? It. Yeah. Wow, yeah. that's incredible. You're a badass motherfucker. Uh, you it's just cool rock that shit it. like it's I'm not nothing. not the Hollywood skinny. I <laughs> that's got what it. happens. I mean, you have never done a fucking sit-up in your life, have you? You only get out of bed like, like rolling on your stomach and then pushing yourself up and then sort of like... My friend suggested that I do sit-ups, but I just don't. It's, like, hard, you know? I bet. Now, yeah, now I you, can't really now, now you've really painted yourself into a corner. I don't Bridget, like you either. are unbelievable. Uh, you live here in Sacramento? No, I live in Oregon. Oh, wow. How long are you in town for? Um, tomorrow I'm coming back to watch your show. Yeah, and yeah. then what? How about this weekend? Anything else? Just, um, the, just tomorrow, and then you go back to Oregon after that? Then I go back to my life as a sample girl. As a what? Sample girl. What's that? I sell stuff. Wow. Samples. Yeah. That's so cool. I sell like Maybelline, L'Oreal. Oh, Avon lady. Um, no, Kinda. L'Oreal, uh, Maybelline. You sell Maybelline and L'Oreal, and they're like, man, this shit doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. Oh nothing can make me beautiful. <laughs> that's Brid- not true. Uh, <laughs> no, that's not true at all. Uh, yeah, no, I'm that's joking. not true at all, Bridget. You are absolutely uh, stunning. I'd yeah. still hit it. Don't, I mean, those don't. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Absolutely. This guy will get you. Thanks, thanks. It's called nagging what I just did to you, girl. Pregnant. Pregnant and all, yeah. And you are absolutely so funny. And since you're going to be here tomorrow, what do you say we just pencil you in for an automatic spot tomorrow, huh? Is that okay? Fuck yeah. You have another minute? Fuck yeah. We'll get another new minute minute from Bridget Bennett tomorrow night. Bridget Bennett, everybody. Now that is a way to do 400 episodes of Kill Tony. Am I right, people? <laughs> Mind-boggling. The great Ryan J. Ebelt is here. He drew this episode. Look at that, everybody. Incredible. While you all sat there doing nothing, he drew that from start to finish. A big 400 with everybody in it. Plus, he drew special posters that'll be for sale after the show. Uh, we'll sign them all for you. We'll take a picture with you if you get one or whatever. There's other things as well. There's the official new Kill Tony pin. Yeah. There is the new uh, Kill Tony t-shirt. New Kill Tony shirt. And I also went through my closet, got all the uh, old school Death Squad shirts that have been out of print and stuff. There's a lot of like little Easter eggs out there if you need them. Uh, there you go. Literal Easter eggs he found in his closet. Uh, he's going to be selling after the show. There's also the Tony Hinchcliffe pin uh, available for sale. Is the you... big gay Tony Hinchcliffe pin? Yeah, it's a big gay Tony Hinchcliffe pin. Wow. And if, if you want, I will uh, draw my own big gay mustache on with a Sharpie marker for you. Uh, it's the gayest pin available. I shoved every single one of them up my butt and in my pee hole. That's how gay they are. Uh, but there is nothing gayer than the band's calendar. <laughs> How about a hand for the band, everybody? Come on. How loud can this place get, possibly get, for the great Jeremiah Watkins, huh? 
Jeremiah Wonders, new episodes. He's on YouTube at Jeremiah Watkins. Jeremiah Wonders has new episodes. We just did a roadcast on the way here today, which is going to be an exciting one. What else, Jeremiah? Uh, I got a few headlining dates. Uh, November 16th in Huntington Beach. Uh, November 29th through 30th in St. Louis. Uh, and then uh, Kansas City, December 19th through 21st. And Chicago and Zanies, uh, January 2nd through 4th just added. <laughs> Silent but deadly. He batted a thousand tonight, as always. How about another hand for Chroma Chris, everybody on the guitar? Chroma, what'd you think about tonight's episode? It, uh, varsity blew my mind, Tony. <laughs> All right, there you go. I still count it as a, at a thousand. The stats end once, uh, once the Katamari music hits. Uh,. And this is it. Well, how about one last big pop? The one and only defended his throne and retained Joelberg Joel Jimenez. He's on social media, mostly sorry. He's also a big part of the big gay calendar that is available for sale. There's literally thousands remaining. Uh, it's the gayest calendar you'll ever buy. And it's for the year 2020. So you're thinking, wow, we okay, need good. to buy these before the year 2020 comes. <laughs> That's how calendars work, you idiot. You, yeah, I, not, we're not selling 2019 calendars, <laughs> dummy. Well, sometimes it's easy to forget something that nobody's bought for the last 10 years. Uh, <laughs> that, that, that dude, is. dude, my uncle's heart gave out. We're doing a fundraiser for these calendars. Is okay? that a fake fundraiser? That is now. not true. <laughs> when he, when yeah, he says this. Yeah, huh? When he says there's a, t- a 2020 calendar, that's how many we have left. <laughs> If you have a lot of calendars left over, you have nothing to do with it. Like, you're going to be using that to wrap presents and shit. Dude, let's Is prove them wrong gonna be- tonight, Sacramento. <laughs> yeah, they're going to wrap presents for it because everybody they know, they're just going to wrap other calendars with the calendar. All right. <laughs> Oh, my God. Uh, I mean, this ended up being uh, absolutely so much fun. There's nowhere I'd rather be spending episode 400 than in a crazy fucking California city like Sacramento. I love you guys. We had a blast. How about a hand for Red Band, everybody? Thanks for that, guys. We love you. Good night. Hey, uh, Dave, David and William, come yeah. on, let's take a photo, you yeah, assholes. Yeah, let's take a photo, everybody.